Good morning. Good morning. Oh. <coughs> so some people in Mississippi talk like this. They talk like Tomato from the movie Cars. There really are. Y'all think I have an accent? Man, there are people in Mississippi that have a really thick accent. You can't understand them. I don't know that they are actually speaking English. I'm related to a lot of them. <laughs> anyway, no, it's funny. I wanted to share a non-scale victory with you guys because this is pretty exciting. So, Uncle Herschel is in town in full disclosure. And you know when that craving for chocolate hits? Well, I have learned that fighting it is kind of a lesson in futility. There's no reason in fighting it because it's going to win eventually anyway. That's just me. So I try not to keep that stuff in the house. But yesterday we had to go in the store to get peanut butter and jelly because, oh my goodness, the world will end if we don't have peanut butter and jelly. Plus, we got to make some lunches. <laughs> We've been really creative with food here lately, trying to clean out the cabinets and the refrigerator before we move. But anyway, I wanted to share. So we went in and I was like, I got to get some chocolate. I just got to have it. Got to have it. Nothing wrong. Came from a plant, right? Cocoa came from a plant. So it's basically a vegetable, right? So anyway, this is one of my favorites. You can't beat a Hershey bar. Mm, smells good. Um, half of it is gone, you will notice, but it is not me that ate half of this. I shared it with my kids. But there was a time in life, you know, we talked about, remember where you came from. Hey, Mr. McGee! Hey! So there was a time in my life when I would buy one of these and eat the whole thing in one sitting. Um, and it's very interesting for me. So out of this, let's see, there's one, two, there's four rows. And there's three little pieces in each row. I had two pieces off of this which one serving size is this entire bar. But, you know, I just thought that was really cool because I didn't even think about it. I just had the two little pieces. The kids had some. And then I put it over here. And I didn't think about it again. But it was it's a really cool journey for me, and it's a really cool realization for me to realize just how far I've come because that's huge. I mean, a lesson in moderation. I did not think that moderation really ever existed. But... It is so true what they say that when you adopt a clean diet and you really focus on eating clean foods and less sugar, for real less sugar, man, it really does help your cravings. I mean, getting rid of the Diet Coke years ago, decreasing sugar, all that stuff helps. So go figure. The experts were right. But anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. Do you guys have any non-scale victories today? Any realizations like the way you used to be versus the way you are now? Um, share with me. I like those stories. I don't always get to respond to you guys because um, it's just life, you know, like go to work and then come home with the kids. And sometimes it's just difficult to respond to everybody, but I do try to, but I appreciate y'all for watching and I love y'all and I hope you have a marvelous day. Get on it. Get on it. Uptown funk you up. Uptown funk you up. Come on. Have a good day. Bye.